My name is Tom Haddy and I'm the author and the creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and to boxing. This evening I'm uh, previewing UFC 310 which and the matchup between um, Rachmanov and uh, Mikado Gary. This is Mikado Gary on the left. And this is Rachmanov on the right. Uh, my early impressions, he's, he reminds me of a Conor McGregor wannabe. Maybe that's a bit unfair. Uh, this guy is an absolutely formidable warrior, as we will find out. This is Rachmanov. So what can we say about Shav Shavkat Rachmanov? Well, he's known as the Nomad. He's undefeated in the welterweight division. He has a diverse and a formidable skill set. He's a fabulous striker, has a striking accuracy of 61%, showcasing his ability to land significant strikes effectively. He is an expert grappler and submission expert. He excels in grappling and he has an average of 1.8 submissions per 15 minutes. He also has secured 10 of his 18 wins by submission using techniques like rear naked chokes, guillotine chokes, he has a perfect takedown defense of 100%. People do not take Rachmanov down. His ability to adapt and use a wide range of techniques makes him a very versatile fighter. He can effectively switch between striking and grappling depending on the circumstances of the matchup. Fight IQ, um, he's got a very, very high fight IQ because of his uh, intense training background all of his wins, of course, have come either by knockout or submission. And uh, he's a formidable opponent. Let's look at his uh, record. Some difficulties here, because if we look at when he started in the UFC um, for UFC 254, OK, he's beaten some good at MMA practitioners. Oliveira, good. Prezera's good. Harris, good. And this is where it starts to become formidable. Neil Magny, very good professional, outstanding MMA practitioner. Jeff Neal, very, very good, outstanding um, MMA practitioner. Steve Thompson, challenged twice for the world title. He's now about 40. I think his best days are behind him. He's still an outstanding practitioner, though. His opponent, Mikado Gary. Um, let's also look at his record and uh, likewise his early days in the Cage Warriors. I don't know too much about Cage Warriors except that Conor McGregor was a double champion there. Okay, f considering his start when he starts for his eighth contest against Jordan Williams, um, I don't know too much about Williams or Weeks. Green is a good practitioner. Kennan is a good practitioner. Rodriguez is a good and as I said before, Magni and Jeff Neal are outstanding. Very high level MMA practitioners. Michael Page was a leading Bellator um, MMA artist. And he has, you know, quite venomous strikes and punches, leg kicks. But um, McGarry was able to deal with him and get a unanimous decision. So what can we say about McGarry? He has a striking foundation rooted in boxing and Muay Thai. He trains in Thailand. He's very composed, very focused. He reminds me of a young George St. Pierre. This is a really cool customer. He has a lot of flexibility in his thinking. He knows how to adjust his strategy within fights. What are the problems? There are lots of problems. Firstly, he's very vocal about his skill set and his destiny in the MMA uh, game, but. He's relatively inexperienced against the really top tier opponents. In his fight against uh, Michael Venom Page, he really showed that he knows how to be cautious. And I think sometimes he's too cautious. That limits his offensive output. Uh, his grappling skills have not been tested against elite opponents, but he does have strengths in striking and he does have me mental fortitude. And that's quite a, a potent combination. Okay, this is an interesting one. My pick, there's only one winner here. Uh, Rachmanov is, I think, one of the leading mixed martial artists uh, in the world. I certainly think he'll deal with uh, Mikado Gary quite easily.